With these words through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord communicated a profound message of hope to the chosen people who had suffered through the destruction of the temple and of their holy city of Jerusalem. Like them, we have endured a great upheaval in our life due to the pandemic that has engulfed us. We are mourning members of our families and community whom we have lost to this insidious virus. And we are on the side of those who are suffering, hoping to alleviate their isolation. We know that our former way of life will probably not re-emerge just as it was before. And we too are feeling uncertain and fearful when we think about the shape that our lives will take following the pandemic. At this moment in history, the prophet Isaiah once again announces that our Lord is about to do something new. As we make our way forward, his words fill us with hope. God's desire to renew his people was never more evident than in his resurrection from the dead. That event is the beginning of the new creation. The good Lord is working right now to restore those aspects of our pre-pandemic life that are good and holy. At the same time, he is reigniting our evangelizing mission through new ministries brought about as a result of the pandemic. In large part, this mission of ours is made possible by the generous donors to Project Advance, our annual appeal which unites each of us in supporting the church has a long legacy in meeting the urgent needs of the John Paul II Pastoral Center and of our parish communities. I urge you, as the faithful in the Archdiocese of Vancouver, to respond generously to this year's Project Advance Appeal. Together, we are all members of the Body of Christ, and together, we will make our way forward. Behold, I am doing something new, now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it?